Hello, everyone. My name is Ivan Enriquez. I'm 22 years old. I'm proud to call Santa Ana, California my home. I volunteer at the California YMCA Youth and Government Legislative Houses Program, training high school students to argue about government and laws they propose on their own. I came to know Senator Sanders in 2015 when a group of friends I made in youth and government invited me to Los Angeles to hear a little known presidential candidate speak about his campaign. The platform to transform the political system with respect to health care, immigration, and higher education earned my backing wholeheartedly. I attended the Democratic National Convention as a 2016 Sanders district delegate with help, with, uh, with help from supporters like you through a crowdfund. I fundraised $4,000 in less than two weeks before convention, a staggering amount. I've attended every state democratic convention since 2015 because we need to hold our elected officials accountable to the people, us. California no se vende, se alma y defiende. My representative in the House, Lou Correa, switched his support recently for Medicare for All. As all of you know, Medicare for All has gained huge momentum because of Senator Sanders' advocacy in the 2016 Democratic primaries. <laughs> Medicare for All is important to me because I know how difficult it is to navigate Medicaid in California. I had a lapse in medication in 2015 when I was starting college simply for switching county of residence. I had a lapse in coverage recently simply for applying for CalFresh benefits. That should not happen. The stakes are too high, everyone. Prescription medication from corporations like Gilead for HIV antiretroviral therapy costs $3,000 a month out of pocket. For Truvada, which is pre-exposure paraphylaxis, that medication costs $2,000 a month out of pocket. It is nowhere near that price in Australia. We must advocate, we must continue to advocate for a single payer system in California, which again gains serious momentum because of Senator Sanders' advocacy. Another thing happened in uh, 2014 and 2015. That's the year that Immigration and Customs Enforcement detained my dad, the head of household, and deported him back to Mexico in 2015, all while having an application for legal residency stall for over 15 years. I had just started my senior year in high school when my dad was ripped away from our house and held a mile and a half away at the notorious Orange County Theo Lacey Jail. Our family dynamic and income quickly changed without my father. My mother, who was also undocumented at the time, received her legal residency. Our immigration system is broken, and Senator Sanders is the real solution we have in 2020 to bring about sustainable change to our immigration and asylum system. Now, now Santa Ana is the place that I call home. Santa Ana is the fourth densest city in the country behind New York City, San Francisco, and Boston. But Santa Ana does not have a four-year public university. Sanders' proposal for free college for all would provide a serious level of equity that our young people deserve following the economic recession leveled by Wall Street one-third of Orange County residents had to relocate due to the cost of housing. We need more public universities to meet the demand we see today in California and across the country for higher education. A high school diploma is no longer the minimum requirement that many jobs ask for today. They ask for more than that. Student debt is crippling those who do graduate from opportunities that would be made available to them otherwise, and that shouldn't happen. And so what we have to do as a movement is coalesce behind Senator Bernie Sanders and fight for a political system that we all can believe in, rather than the one where we're simply trying to get, where we're simply trying to catch, catch by. <laughs>